Chapter 4 Control Volume Analysis Using Energy So far we have considered closed systems. A mass was not allowed to cross the system boundary. In this chapter, we are going to consider open systems or control volumes. It allows mass to cross the system boundary. The fluid flow goes in and out of the system. We are going to introduce the mass balance and the first law of thermodynamics or energy balance on the open systems. These conservation laws are fundamental laws of nature. They apply to all processes. Also, we'll apply the mass and energy balance equations to steady operation devices such as turbines, compressors, nozzles, diffusers, and pumps. And lastly, we will take a look at transient analysis. Section 4.1 Conservation of Mass for a Control Volume The control volume or open system is a fixed region in space. So it is characterized by flowing fluid. So mass as well as heat and work can cross the system boundaries in open systems. So mass conservation law states that mass cannot be created or destroyed. In closed system, the mass in the systems remain constant as there is no mass across the system boundaries. In open systems, the mass in the systems may vary with time. Mass conservation may be expressed in mathematical form. M dot denotes the mass flow rate. It is the amount of mass flowing through a cross section per unit time. The physical meaning of each term is described here. So dm subscript cv control volume over dt denotes time rate of change of mass contained within the control volume and time t. m dot subscript i time rate of flow of mass in across inlet i at time t. m dot sub e time rate of flow of mass out across exit e at time t. Consider a water heater. So cold fluid is going into the heater and hot fluid is going out of the heater. For example, let's say m dot i equals 3 kg per second and m dot exit is 2 kg per second. So according to the mass conservation law, 3 kg per second going in minus 2 kg per second going out of the system equals 1 kg per second. So 1 kg per second is the time rate of change of mass contained within the control volume in the water heater at time t. So the water heater accumulates mass at 1 kg per second. If the mass flow rate m dot is equal to m dot out, the mass of the system remains constant. The control volume may have several inlets and outlets, and the summation is used to evaluate the total mass transfer across the system. 4.2 Forms of the Mass Rate Balance So mass flow rate is equal to the density times area times velocity. The area is the cross-sectional area of the fluid. And the product of area and the velocity is the volume flow rate. It can be also expressed as the volume flow rate divided by the specific volume of the fluid. The reciprocal of density is the specific volume. The steady state 
indicates the properties do not change with time. A device may operate for a long time with the same conditions. And there may be no change in any properties of the system with time at a particular location. But the steady state does not mean the properties remain uniform across the system. They may vary from point to point in the system. For example, let's say this is a system and the temperature is a function of position. The temperature here may be 100 degrees Celsius, but temperature here may be 50 degrees Celsius. So the temperature varies from point to point. But temperature at the particular position doesn't change with time. This is steady state condition. So in these equations, the left term, time derivative goes to zero. Example 4.1. A feed water heater operating at steady state has two inlets and one exit. At inlet 1, water vapor enters at pressure 7 bar and temperature 200 degrees Celsius with a mass flow rate of 40 kg per second. At inlet 2, liquid water at pressure 7 bar, temperature 40 degrees Celsius entered through an area 25 square centimeter. Saturated liquid at 7 bar exit at 3 with a volumetric flow rate 0 0.06 uh, cubic meter per second. Determine the mass flow rate at inlet 2 and the exit in kilogram per second and the velocity at inlet 2 in meter per second. So we have an open system so mass going in from the inlet 1 and 2 and mass is leaving the system from exit 3. We are going to apply the mass balance to determine the unknown. Mass going in to the system from inlet 1 and inlet 2 and mass is leaving out of the system and this is at steady state. So there's no change in mass within the system. All dm, the control volume over dt goes to zero. So m1 is already given, 40 kg per second. We need to determine the mass flow rate at inlet 2 and the exit and the velocity at inlet 2. First, let's take a look at the exit 3. So phase of the water is saturated liquid, which means quality is zero and the pressure is given. So we know the two intensive and independent property. We can fix the state and the mass flow rate is area times velocity divided by the specific heat. So volumetric flow rate is given 0 0.06 cubic meter per second. And we can determine the specific volumes at 3. See table A3. At 7 bar, specific volumes of the saturated liquid is here. So 1.10 10 to the negative third cubic meter per kilogram. Let's calculate the mass flow rates at inlet 2, m2, m3 dot minus m1 dot. So both flow rates are known. And we need to determine the velocity at inlet 2. And the mass flow rate is volumetric flow rate 
divided by the specific volume. So we can solve it for the velocity at inlet 2. Mass flow rates and the area are known. We need to evaluate the specific volumes at inlet 2. At inlet 2, temperatures and pressures are known, so we can fix the state. And see table A2. It's a saturated water table. At 40 degrees Celsius, the saturation pressure is 0.07 bar. But at inlet 2, the pressure is 7 bar which is much greater than the saturation pressure. That indicates the phase of water is compressed liquid. We have a compressed liquid table for water, but we may not be able to find the correct tables at the given condition. So what we are going to do is to approximate the phase as saturated liquid. So at 40 degrees Celsius, specific volume is 1.0078 times 10 to the negative third. So the velocity at inlet 2 So all the unknowns were evaluated from the mass balance equations.